you all to become familiar with the proposed hate speech legislation at present before the doll, and which apparently has the support of all of our parties. It constitutes a dreadful attack against freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, which will mark a descent into a barbaric dark age of intellectual and social repression. We will never go into that dark night of social repression. If we allow a gang of stupidest elites to determine what we can and cannot say in public, then the great struggle for Irish people, for Irish freedom has been a struggle in vain. The Irish people will never let that happen. Many people have spoken about the recent polling yeah, scandal and how it was a sad indication yeah, of cronyism at the highest levels of government. In my opinion, however, the, 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 the worst aspect of that scandal is this. How can anyone, anyone other than a political insider, conclude for a moment that Catherine Capone, a person who never saw the sentient idea of the Jews and not the censor, could possibly have fulfilled the role as an envoy of free speech on behalf of Ireland. That in terms of the fight and show the other contempt of our government to lead house for democracy and for the very concept of free speech. We will have no more supporting and no more left-wing petty Hitlers trampling in our democracy. Yes, it's only finished soon. It's only finished in five minutes. It's not going to fight. You finished now? So Hello? Hello? You finished? You fucking idiot. You finished? Off you go, sir. Off you go, sir. Off you go, sir. Thank you. Off you go. The whole process of government in recent times has seemed to resolve around the creation of false crises and then the introduction of repressive and destructive legislation in order to fight problems that do not really exist. The greatest fault perpetrated against the people is the sheer insanity of climate change policy. The measures proposed by government at the behest of the Green Party have the potential to destroy our economy for generations to come and to reduce us to penury. The digital controlling mechanisms which have been introduced during the manufactured COVID crisis will be wheeled out to attack and undermine individual freedoms during the forthcoming climate-related hysteria. We should be under no illusion that the extremist policies we promote will be aimed on the next 15 years to lead to an economic and political dystopia which will measure our society and destroy our freedoms. Load of bollocks! We must step back to a situation where the economy serves the people rather than the people being the plaything of multinational forces. I will conclude that it's best that we and the people do have the power to protect their faith from tyranny. That is the lesson of our history. And those who seek to destroy our liberties will do well to the look to the, look to the lessons of our history. We have within ourselves the power to bring on to government overreach by refusing to cooperate and by making it clear that we will fight against tyranny at every available opportunity. There can be no doubt that we face a period of struggle, but every healthy person will come struggle when it is in a just call. We must make government know that the Irish people will never be slaves and that we will face death before the power. Many of us fear 